What is on going on, you guys? Uh, Toast here. It's finally talking about the Raiders. I haven't said too much about the year. I don't need to see every game. I promise to not really talk too much about that. But now that the general manager name has been hired, I can do my little state of the Raiders address, which I kind of still want to do just to get thoughts off on the whole season. Yes, we all know what a disaster happened. We all know what happened when Josh McDaniels was fired. We got excited over that. It's gone. It's in the past. Now they just named Antonio Pierce as the head coach and Tom Telesco as the general manager. Now, first of all and foremost, uh, Antonio Pierce was a no-brainer because of what just happened. Yeah, he got the guys playing. He talked about in his intro that people are tired of losing. And I do got to give credit. The players showed that they're tired of losing and they cared. It was very night and day uh, how the players responded and played better once he was the interim coach and took over. Now, all that being said... Obviously, there's still a lot of holes and a lot of inexperience. That's what happens when you're a head coach. But he's done his part to say he should be the full-time head coach. I think the only the only name you should have put in front of Antonio Pierce is Jim Harbaugh. And unfortunately, that's a little race that's still ongoing right now. He might go to the Chargers. We'll see what happens. But there's a lot of teams that have talked to Jim Harbaugh, and unfortunately, the Raiders are just one of them. They couldn't. You have to either give up on Pierce and go for Harbaugh, or you just take Pierce, which was the easy call right there. So, not too much controversy overall. I know you could talk about Max Crosby and so on. But, as I said, the defense was actually really good, especially down the stretch. We haven't seen a Raiders team with good defense in about, I don't know, a little more than 20 years. We haven't seen a good defense most of, most of my lifetime. I haven't seen a good defense. So, I do got to give credit where it's due there. Then Tom Telesco, the general manager, he was once on the Chargers for about a decade. They went with, they had three guys who were candidates. It was Champ Kelly, it was Tom Telesco, and then he had Ed Dodds, who was the assistant of the Colts. Personally, for me, I would have wanted Ed Dodds, be just so there's a fresh face, someone outside the organization. Uh, Telesco I had as the middle candidate. I'm kind of in the middle on this. I know it's easy to bring up the Chargers, and you bring up the track record, and I, I get that he's, he's definitely had some misses as a drafter, and people will talk about his head coaching hires, but the good thing is he doesn't have to worry about hiring a head coach. His job is going to be to draft and build a roster. You know, when I think about, like, the Chargers talent-wise, a lot of the magazines and the media, a lot of the people pick the Chargers to be sleeper or a good team because they think there's talent there. Yet they find a way to underachieve, and most of that has to do with the coaching staff. So it is possible that some of those players drafted played better with the Raiders, like Denzel Perryman, a good example. Uh, there's Some of those guys end up playing better elsewhere, and it's possible just the right coaches can make a player better. And as said, the Chargers' past two coaching staffs under Anthony Lynn and Brandon Staley were not very good. What I do know is the Spanos family in San Diego, or what's it used to be San Diego, now Los Angeles, Those the owners were more in charge of the coaching hires than Tom Telesco was. He, yeah, Telesco might have done some interviews, but to say he had more power over the roster and everything, no. No, he did not have the same control over coaches. They, the Spanos family got cheap. They finally made stop when they get Harbaugh. But that being said... Telesco's track record shows me the late rounds are not so good, but the drafts, he seems to draft like a conventional general manager, which is better than, say, what John Gruden was doing, or what even Josh McDaniel was doing. So now we finally have a general manager with experience. That's a good sign. Uh, but the only thing I'll say is I'm happy it's not Champ Kelly. I know he was the guy who was just there as the interim. His resume is weak. I look at a guy's resume at all times, and I look at that stuff. Terrible. I mean, he worked for the Bears. I fear that he would have tried to trade for Justin Field, which that would have been meant he had a big say in the Chicago Bears roster in the previous regime. I know the guy who's the GM there is not was not under it with Champ Kelly, but we know what the Bears were. If he had a lot of say over the Bears roster, no, I do not want to see that. I think Tom Telesco brings experience, and you need that with a young head coach like Antonio Pierce with Pretty much no experience, as we've seen Marvin Lewis is joining the staff. He's talking with Tom Coughlin, his former, I believe that was his head coach with the New York Giants when he was a player. So Antonio Pierce is going to have to be learning. He's going to have to be learning on the fly. And Tom Telesco brings experience of building a roster. 
The only thing I do know is his responsibility won't have to worry about hiring a coach. He's got a coach. They had to bring someone who had good chemistry with Antonio Pierce. So it's more possible that Antonio Pierce more agreed to this than Mark Davis just overriding him. I think Antonio Pierce preferred him of three. And as we know, the head coach and the general manager have to be on the same page. You know, here's just a big example. Have you seen the movie Top Gun Maverick? Maybe you remember how there's the multiple characters and you remember there's the character Rooster, who I believe is supposed to be the son of Goose. And they needed, they had the actors for the audition. They had three guys hang out with Tom Cruise, kind of see what kind of chemistry and relationship they could get together and how good they could work together. And Miles Teller won the role. So that was the basic thing, is you needed to have good chemistry with Tom Cruise, who plays Maverick, of course, and that ended up being in the movie. So, so amazingly enough, another guy who didn't get the role still had a plot spot in the movie, but Miles Teller was the best of the three. In this case, it's Tom Telesco who had the best chemistry with Antonio Pierce. So I'm going to assume Pierce signed off on this and approved it. they got to be on the same page. At the end of the day, you can't be clashing or heavy clashing in front office minds. I mean, you've seen time and time again that egos really do override and mess up a lot of teams. You look at how some teams have a power struggle and so on. So it's good that we have an experienced GM, but am I going to be excited? No. Am I going to be angry? No. I'm, I'm in the middle on this. I don't really feel anger towards the Telesco hiring. Uh, of course, Previously, I was so turned off by Josh McDaniels and John Gruden as hires that I was like, why am I wasting my time? I made sure to not pay attention close enough like usually I usually would because I knew it was a waste of time. I knew what both of those guys have done as drafters and when they're calling the shots. So I'll say Mark Davis might have very well at least been more hands off. He's just listening to people. He's listening to feedback. We know that when Antonio Pierce took over, that the players were pretty much coaching themselves. Players wanted to have Antonio Pierce as their guy, and he let them do it. Yeah, they fought for him. They played for him. So, fair enough. You get your chance. Now, for Antonio Pierce, I'm willing to give him two years. It's going to be, how does the offense get better? We've seen the defense looks good. They don't have to blow up this roster and nuke it. They just have to fix the offense, which is a big uh, elephant in the room. Obviously, we can just look at the 3-0 game. So whoever the offensive coordinator is, whoever they hire, that's the most important hire now. And then, of course, building and coaching and all that is going to be a big deal. Now, as for the quarterback, Aiden O'Connell, I'm indifferent. Most of this offense, they can blow it up, and I'm not going to care. That's how bad the offense was. I have no attachment there. So if things falter or they regress or things get worse, everyone has to be held accountable. And you kind of just have to let Tom Telesco do his thing if that happens. You, so I'm willing to give this staff and so on two years. And if they're not a playoff team within the next two years, then they have to move on to the next person and the, the next personnel, no matter what Max Crosby says. I mean, people have to be held accountable when you're losing. Yeah, the thing that still bothers me and I still I think about is how the Raiders haven't won a playoff game since 2002. I mean, it'll be 21 this, this February, or the end of this month, will march 21 years since the last time the Raiders won a playoff game. It's now the second longest playoff win drought in the NFL. We're lucky the Dolphins lost, uh, or else the Raiders would have held that bag and baggage. Because we've seen the Lions have won two playoff games. They finally broke their drought. So It's hard not to think about this kind of stuff. I mean, you can't just sneak into the playoffs for me. I don't get content with that. You gotta get in, and you gotta show me you're relevant, and not just sneak in. You can't go one and done with me. So there's all I have on the Raiders. I'm just indifferent. I'm okay. I'm not gonna act optimistic and say we got this, but I'm not gonna say it's awful like John Gruden or Josh McDaniels were. So now we know what you all thought about these hires. I'm I'm okay with Tom Telesco. Antonio Pierce was a logical thing, but I still have to wait and see. You just have to wait and see, and I need to see results. It's that simple. So see you guys next time. Let me know what you all think.